So it is day two of positive action with Miss Ashley. Also, I'm gonna give you more than one lesson today because I've been decorating at the club for you all. And I did this wall and it says spread kindness like confetti. And I think it's cute. So you just throw that kindness on around there. But okay, so to recall on what we learned on our first lesson, it was about positive action. And if you can recall what that means, it means when you feel good about things, you're being positive about things, you tend to have positive actions to follow those feelings. So today I'm gonna lead you in to another idea that is important. And this is called self-concept. Now I want you to do the same thing that I asked you to do the lesson before. And I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to write this on it. Self, S-E-L-F, concept, C-O-N-C-E-P-T. Okay? And what con uh, self-concept is, is how we think and feel about ourselves. So obviously this is tied into your positive actions because unless, you know, you're not gonna have positive actions if you're not feeling positive. So I want you to write this down below self-concept. All right, so your paper should look like this. Self-concept, how we think and feel about ourselves, okay? And I also want you to take this and wherever you put your positive action piece of paper, I want you to put a self-concept piece of paper. So you can look at this and reflect on how you feel about yourself on a daily basis. All right, now I'm going to read you a story to kind of give you a deeper concept of what self-concept is. And today, you are going to learn about a young lady named Sophie. Sophie Donaletto had red hair. She had the reddest hair anyone in her family had ever seen. Since red hair was pretty common among the Donalettos, that was really saying something. Sophie's hair was curly, too. She kept it cut short, and it fell in cute curls around her face. She didn't have to go to a hairdresser to get a perm like some girls did. Her hair curled all by itself. Sophie had the biggest, roundest blue eyes. They flashed like sun on ice when she was mad and twinkled like summer stars when she was happy. Her mother always said you could tell exa exactly how Sophie felt by looking into her eyes. But Sophie was miserable. Sophie hated her hair. She hated her clear blue eyes. Some days she didn't know how much, she, she didn't know which one she disliked more. Her hair and eyes constantly drew attention from others, and it wasn't always nice. She would have given anything for plain old mousy brown hair and eyes that didn't stand out much. She just wanted to be like everyone else. One day, Sophie went to her mother. Mom, why can't I be like everyone else? The only things people notice about me are my hair and my eyes. Why can't I just be regular? Her mother laughed and gently said, my darling Sophie, don't you know your hair is beautiful and your wonderful eyes are part of what makes you so special? Sophie's eyes filled with tears. I don't wanna be special. I just wanna be me. Honey, everyone is special in some way. What each of us has to do is to learn to make our special qualities work for us. Be proud of who you are. Sophie thought a long time about what her mother had said. Finally, she decided to make a list of all the things she could think of about herself that she liked. On a big sheet of paper, she printed, Who is Sophie? Underneath, she put all the answers she could think of that were positive. A kind person, someone who sings pretty. By the time she finished, she had a whole page. Curly red hair and big blue eyes were at the bottom of the list. Now, she thought, 
Just how do I make these work for me? It was time to put some of her special traits to work. She decided to join the boys in a game of basketball at recess. When they saw how good she was, they stopped calling her names. At school, when she helped some first graders with their lunch trays, Mr. Buddy noticed her positive actions, not her hair or her eyes. Hey, Sophie, he said, thanks for helping. Those kids were having a hard time. Before she knew it, Sophie's good thoughts were changing how she felt about everything. Instead of hating her hair and her eyes, she was thinking about her special qualities. And when the lady at the grocery store asked her where she got her big blue eyes and her curly red hair, Sophie grinned from my mom and dad. She answered brightly, thanks for noticing them. I like them too. So that's the end of the story. So you can tell from the beginning that, you know, Sophie didn't really have a very good self-concept of herself. And you know how you could notice it? Because she was very sad and down about the facts that people were noticing her red hair and blue eyes for the wrong reasons. Um, some type of, sometimes people can take a trait that you have and possibly make fun of you for it or put you down for it. But this is the point of self-concept, of learning how to feel good about yourself regardless of how others may perceive you. So what are some actions that Sophie used to help improve her self-concept? She sat down on her own and she wrote a list about herself. You know, maybe some of you all should get a piece of paper out and, you know, write your name down at the top of it and sit there and think about all the things that you're good at or that you like about yourself. That could be basketball, that could be painting a picture, that could be reading. Um, it could be having a great smile. It can be more than just quality of things that you can do. It can be things that you already possess, like curly hair. I got that mousy brown hair they were talking about, and I love it. Um, so I just want you all to take your piece of paper that has self-concept wrote on it and the definition, and I want you to also make a little list of some things about yourself that you enjoy and that you like and hang this up and every time you start to feel down upon yourself I want you to reflect on the things that you truly do like about yourself and I promise that positive action will come out of having a positive self-concept so that's all I have for you today and also above me spread kindness like confetti and you all have an amazing weekend Bye. I miss you all. Wash your hands.